He has my quote up on the screen and he is saying I said one thing when I clearly said another. We talked about this in his comment section and he responded with Deborah did not know about Boo. Deborah did not know about Boo. Deborah did not know about Boo. What? Dude, seriously, what are you trying to do here? It's funny how stuff like this happens. Yesterday I posted on my community tab, letting you guys know that I was sick, I wasn't feeling too well, and I'm still not feeling too well, but some stuff popped up and I feel like I have to deal with it. I'm gonna do something in this video that I've never done before on my channel, period, for specific reasons, and that is talk about other Dragon Ball Super YouTube creators. There are two main reasons why I haven't done that in the past. The first one is because I really don't know most of these guys. Some people don't want criticism and it's not my place to force that onto anyone else. So if I don't like someone's content on YouTube, I usually just click the not interested option and keep it moving. The second and more important reason is because talking about other creators inevitably creates drama. And although drama brings in a lot of attention and views, it's simply not the type of channel that I wanted to create. It's not the type of community that I wanted to build. But, and there's always a but, alongside having these grandiose plans of building the ideal community, I've noticed a trend. One that makes it a lot harder to create and share Dragon Ball Super content here on YouTube. If this trend is allowed to continue unchecked, it'll make it harder and harder and inevitably borderline impossible for my channel and other channels like mine to exist. So the purpose of this video is to expose this trend to you guys, the effects that it's having on other creators, and hopefully give you a tool that you can use to combat this trend if you decide to. So let's get started. About two weeks ago, I got this image from a fan of the channel on Discord. Now in this image in the upper left is the screenshot and title from a video on my channel titled Yamoshi Never Attained Super Saiyan God. Who is Yamoshi? In the upper right is a video from another creator here on YouTube who calls himself Blackscape with a screenshot and title for a video on his channel eerily similar to mine. His title is Yamoshi never became a Super Saiyan God. Now, I get a lot of messages and comments from people every day, but I thought this one was interesting given the backstory to this video. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but it boils down to this video was not very popular when I uploaded it over a year ago because it went against what a lot of fans thought was common knowledge, which was the idea that Yamoshi was the first Super Saiyan God. My video pointed out that that likely is not the case. Yamoshi only ever achieved a Super Saiyan transformation. I am proud to say that not too long after making this video, the Dragon Ball Super Wiki page allowed changes that corrected their description of Yamoshi to better reflect what I said in this video. Now, could Blackscape have had the same exact thought? It's possible, but my view on this was, even if the worst is true, even if Blackscape is stealing content and ideas, it isn't worth it to call him out, simply because it wasn't worth my time. Almost as if this guy knew I would be thinking that, he included another example of Blackscape stealing content, this time an audio clip. I'm gonna play the clip he wanted me to listen to and you decide. I'm gonna start with the clip from my video covering Vegeta saving this Namekian in a recent chapter of Dragon Ball Super manga. Here's the audio. Vegeta saves the young Namekian. Let me just say, oh how Vegeta has grown, right? Look at this image, from tyrant to savior. I really like the saying Vegeta is becoming. I think he's starting to get solidified as a full-on hero, a full-on good guy now. No longer this sort of anti-hero, he'll help but he secretly wants to kill Goku. None of that stuff. I, I love this image. I feel like this is a turning point in Vegeta's character. Him being the one to jump forward and save the innocent like this. I'm just gonna start out the video like this. We all know it, but I'm just gonna state it outright. Vegeta has come a long way since the Saiyan Saga and this new arc the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc with Moro. This new chapter definitely shows how far he's come. I really like that we got so much of a growth from Vegeta, from being a tyrant and an evildoer, to being this. Basically on Goku's level when it comes to not accepting bullshit like torturing the Mechian children. All right, so again, can two different people have similar ideas about the same image? Of course, that's not what makes this interesting. What makes this interesting is the context, the backstory to this. And let me just describe that in a few seconds. I released this video a few days late because originally I didn't plan on covering the topic, but someone reached out to me on Twitter and asked me to, and it was definitely a big deal, so I did. The point is, I didn't expect this video to get any attention because everyone who wanted to talk about this topic had already done it. Again, 
because my video was late. Surprisingly, however, a few hours after I upload my video, Blackscape uploads his video with these eerily similar thoughts. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, at this point, I still didn't feel like it was worth my time to make any sort of video publicly discussing this. This was the thought that was going through my head. I know people like this in real life. I'm sure most of you in the community have the displeasure of knowing people like this as well. People who steal and lie, etc. And those traits are usually habitual, meaning they usually don't just do it once and say I'm never gonna do it again. So my thought was, if I took the time to go through Blackscape's content, I would likely find more even blatant examples of him ripping off my videos and other creators as well. But do you know how much time it takes to do something like that? I don't know how these guys do it, to be honest. I simply value my time more than that and I felt like he wasn't worth it, just being honest with you. What I decided to do instead was to just wait. I figured he would continue to steal and lie, again, because this kind of behavior is usually habitual and oh boy, did he continue. Now that this guy was on my radar, I noticed when he followed me on Twitter, I also noticed when he left nonsensical comments on my YouTube videos which solidified to me that this guy was up to something still I didn't really have any malintention to this guy this is the internet I get it but just to show you guys an example of my mindset I did talk to another big Dragon Ball Super creator about this and these were my exact words to them about Blackscape I'm gonna blur out their name because I don't want them to get involved in drama if they choose not to but these were my words I said I was debating if I wanted to contact him privately before making anything public. I don't know if he's earned that courtesy yet though. What do you think? Unfortunately, the other creator also had interactions with Blackscape and described him as being snaky and a liar. He advised me to make a video talking about this right there and then. But again, me not wanting to create unnecessary drama, having these grandiose plans of building the perfect community where we could all have proper discussions. My response is, I have other videos I want to make right now and I'll just keep it on my radar now that I'm aware of it. So was it surprising to me when I woke up this morning not feeling too hot and saw another video of Blackscape stealing my title and thumbnail? No, it wasn't. This time it's under the guise of criticism. He's making fun of me, facepalm, claiming that my videos make no sense. And he's just so confused he had to make a video with the same title and thumbnail instead of, I don't know, reaching out to me privately and clearing up whatever he found so confusing. At first, I wasn't going to respond to Blackscape. Personally, I thought it was obvious I thought anyone with a brain could see what he was doing and they would just ignore it. The people who would entertain his nonsense were likely people who I didn't want in my community anyway. So I figured, again, I would just ignore it altogether. But then I realized something. And this is what I talked about earlier in this video. Blackscape is part of this growing trend of bottom feeding content creators here on YouTube. And they have a very real and impactful effect that if you aren't a content creator yourself, you are likely not aware of. These people are bottom feeders because they wait for other people to create content and they then latch on to those people's ideas, usually under the guise of criticism or debunking or exposing the truth. All things that seem perfectly reasonable on the surface but in reality, most of the creators of this type of bottom feeding content do not really care about the truth or criticizing people to help make them better. They care about the views and attention that talking about something that they perceive as being bigger than they are would get them. Now, if you're thinking, hey, what's wrong with that? That's what pretty much all YouTubers do, right? And to some extent, you'll be right. But there is a huge difference when you are talking about an entity like Dragon Ball Super or your favorite TV show or a movie or something like that versus when you are talking about someone's specific YouTube channel which is usually dependent on the size of that channel controlled and operated by one person I know this is stuff that most of us will likely prefer not to think about but the reality is this one person has to deal with the backlash of these bottom feeders who usually serve as a rallying point for other equally damaged people now I've seen various response to this some people say well hey this is the internet you got to develop tough skin if you want to put your ideas out there and to be honest with you this is like what I would have said 
a few years ago before I started doing YouTube myself. But that's an easy point of view to have when you do not have to deal with massive amounts of people every day. One thing YouTube has taught me is that everyone has their breaking point. On some days, it may be higher than others, but regardless of how tough your skin is, you have a breaking point. My question to anyone who feels this way is what is your breaking point? How many people will it take calling you an idiot, falsely accusing you of something, using racial slurs against you, sending you death threats, threatening your family? How many people like that will it take before your tough skin gives it? Is it one person, two people, 10 people? I can tell you from a channel around my size, even though I make an effort to avoid these people, I get hundreds of these comments every week. Now, given my background, given how I choose to see the world and the person I am, I think I have pretty tough skin. And still, sometimes I have to take a step back. I was talking to a different Dragon Ball Super content creator on YouTube, who again, I won't expose their names here, but they would make videos pretty consistently and have had massive growth in the community but they've decided that they are now done it was too much which sucks because there were so many people who loved this creator and they brought so many views and attention to the Dragon Ball Super community on YouTube which benefits us all. There is so much I can touch on here. I can touch on why things like depression and thoughts of suicide are so high amongst people who make videos on YouTube seriously. I can touch on why most of your favorite content creators likely either took a long ass break or are having the quality or frequency of their content influenced by these problems. Now, most of you guys, especially the people in my community, the do crew, I know most of you get what's going on here and you expect it of me and the other creators that you follow to be able to endure or ignore this kind of nonsense no matter how often it pops up i can tell you that most of us are already doing that but it's only a matter of time before your favorite creator reach their breaking point so if you are interested in sharing your voice and letting these bottom feeders know that you understand what they are doing and you don't support it i wanted to give you a tool and that tool is hashtag feeder. Whenever these bullshit bottom feeding content creators create their bullshit bottom feeding content, you can let them know that you are not fooled and you see them for who they are by using the hashtag feeder on their video. Now you could accuse me of doing the same thing here that I'm accusing these other creators of doing. And I am willing to accept that criticism. But I feel as if I went out of my way not to make this video. But I realized that this is a situation where you have to fight fire with fire. Like I showed you with Blackscape, if these guys go unchecked, then they continue their nonsense, making it borderline impossible for the content creators you love to continue making the videos you want to watch. Another option that I want to make sure people are clear about is that if you do not enjoy a creator's content, from your home page on YouTube, you can just click the three little dots next to any one of their videos and click not interested. And YouTube will block all content from that creator from showing up in your suggested feeds. Anyway, for the final few minutes of this video, just so I am not accused of not responding, I am going to show you why Blackscape's video on my video was nonsense and why he is bottom feeding and only doing it for views and attention. Let's get to it. Now, one of Blackscape's biggest criticism of my video was Jiren's ears. At the end of my video, I said, if you're not yet convinced, take a look at Jiren's ears. Hashtag Jiren's ears in the comments below. This was a bit of satire to say, if you're not yet convinced after a seven minute video, here is something ridiculous to push you over the edge. I've had hashtags on my videos from green hair Goku to is baby Jiren cute or does he look more like a housefly? These hashtags are never meant to be taken seriously. Blackscape knows this because he watches my content regularly, but yet he chose to mention this hashtag Jiren ears three times in his video without ever giving any context. He presents this as if it was my crowned in jewel, the main point I was trying to make in my discussion when it was just a simple joke. Let's move on to his second major criticism of my discussion, which is, well, I'll just let him explain it. But what he's trying to say is that Jiren's master was killed by a demon. This was in the manga. He tries to explain that Kid Buu is a demon and that is it. That's the whole theory. Not only is what Blackscape's saying here an example of reducto ad absurdum, he's also just lying. In fact, I went out of my way in the video to make this clear by saying this, because it really doesn't matter if Boo is a demon himself or not. What I want to bring your attention to is Babidi's use of Majin Buu and who Babidi was, who he surrounded himself with. 
Babidi's ultimate goal with Boo was to destroy all of the Kai's. They were his mortal enemy. So in the video, I am talking about Bibidi and Babidi and their use of Majin Buu. Buu was being used to forward Bibidi's and Babidi's agenda, which was to destroy all the Kai's. In the video, I also talk about why that agenda likely didn't originate with Bibidi and Babidi. It is likely something that the higher-ups in the demon world want. The demons of the demon world want to kill the gods or the Kai's of our world, and Majin Buu was an instrument of that agenda. Now maybe I'm giving him too much credit, but I think Blackscape understands this, and he's hoping that his audience won't. He saw that only three out of four people that watched my video liked it, and so he was hoping that he could pick up on that one out of four and generate some buzz for his own channel. Blackscape was quick to point out that the reason why he did his video was because he had the top voted comment on my video and so many people contacted him wanted him to talk about the topic the reason why he has the top comment on my video is because he left this comment which at first i thought he was trolling his comment was if Majin Buu is a demon, then why doesn't the demon king Deborah know who he is? After many other people correctly pointed out that Deborah didn't know who Buu was, a lot of people also continued to let him know that even if he was correct, his statement was just about as valid as saying, hey, if you are an American, why doesn't Donald Trump know who you are? The reality is we don't know how many demons exist or how strong they are outside the demon realm. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if it's because I'm not feeling too hot, but I just feel like responding to this guy is such a waste of my time but for the sake of finishing this video let's continue with the nonsense blackscape is claiming to have spoken to me about all this that's a bit of a stretch i responded to his comment and i said deborah didn't know who boo was but like i said in this video it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter if boo was a demon or not i even quoted him the exact timestamp in my video to me saying that because i thought like some people do he hadn't watched the video and he was just trying to find something to disagree with but here is the creme de la creme of Blackscape's criticism of my video. The thing that embodies all that I'm trying to show you guys. Even as he's quoting my response to his comment, he is lying about what I said. He has my quote up on the screen and he is saying I said one thing when I clearly said another. We talked about this in his comment section and he responded with, Deborah did not know about Boo. Deborah did not know about Boo. Deborah did not know about Boo. What? Dude, seriously. What are you trying to do here? If you want to argue that this is just a mistake, he misspoke, you gotta keep in mind that not only does he record these videos, he also has to edit them, rewatch them, and then render them. My best guess is he left this in intentionally because he doesn't expect you to double check him anyway. Just like he doesn't expect you to go watch my actual video and see that most of what he's saying is nonsense. That or he simply can't read, or he's the kind of person who doesn't fact check his work. Either one of those three disqualifies him from being taken seriously. I honestly have no desire to go through the rest of this guy's video. I did watch it, but I feel like either he's trolling or there's something else going on. I am gonna say one last thing before I wrap this video up though. And if it's one thing that I could appreciate about Blackscape is his honesty on why he's doing this. Because I've gotten so much attention for the Angry Joe video for the It's Anime Girl video. He says it's because he talked about other creators in the past, Angry Joe and It's Anime Girl, stealing their thumbnails, and he got so much attention on those videos that he's going to continue and possibly make it a series. He is a shining example of the bottom feeder mentality that I talked about earlier in this video. Hashtag feeder, I'm out. I'm gonna go get some sleep. I probably will not be doing another video about this because I would assume that other feeders are going to want to jump on the bandwagon, hoping that I'll mention their name in a video, but I have other content that I want to create. To Blackscape, you had some words for me about how I should manage my channel and invited me to debunk one of your videos. I will pass on that, but I can tell you that I know one of your goals is to hit 100,000 subscribers. I can tell from your Twitter and the videos that I did check out that you've been talking about this for a while. I've been there, I've done that. I have the YouTube award to show for it. I can tell you that nothing much changes. You have to continue working just as hard and you are going to make it harder on yourself if the people who helped you get to that goal are just a bunch of people who care about drama and undermine facts. Dude, stay up, get better. I do not hate you. Much love to you and your goals. Hashtag do crew. I love you guys. I'm out.